How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. As you guys can tell from the hat, I'm in the Christmas spirit. I know we have a week to go yet, but this time of year, it's never too early to get into the Christmas spirit. I love this time of year. Now, some of you are probably saying right now, Sean, you are late with this video. Well, here's the thing. Originally, it was my goal to make this video the day that all the bowl games were announced. And, obviously, I did not accomplish that goal. And the reason for that, without going into too much detail, because I, I just feel obligated to let all of you, my regular viewers here on YouTube, as well as all of you on the Notre Dame in the End Zone Facebook page know, the past couple of weeks, I have been battling some health issues. Now, don't worry. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm not suffering from anything terminal or anything like that. I just had a, what's a good way to put it, just a, a few unexpected things happen. And these past couple weeks, I've spent, you know, resting up and doing what the doctor told me to do. Um, you know, just uh, was trying to get healthy again, trying to get things back to normal. And, uh, you know, I that's what, so I, I took it easy on, you know, getting on here and making videos. Um, I know, uh, I know some of you are probably confused with, uh, what I'm saying here and how I'm describing this, but, you know, with all due respect, I just can't share every single detail of my life here on YouTube. I mean, you know, I respect all of you guys. I, I mean, I appreciate all of you giving me the views and having followed me the five, six years that I've been on here, but I'm sorry. I just can't share every single detail of my life on YouTube. I, I just can't. I gotta have a part of my life that I keep to myself. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can understand and respect that. But the only thing you guys need to know is I'm okay, I'm fine, um, things are back to normal, and hey, I couldn't be better right now, and just in time for Christmas too. And for the bowl game. <laughs> but anyway, as for the game itself, of course, all of us Irish fans know we got the Music City Bowl against the LSU Tigers. Now, the last time the Irish met the Tigers, it was not pretty. The 2007 Sugar Bowl, unfortunately, I do remember this very, very clearly. Uh, I prefer to forget it, to be honest with you guys. 44-14 um, to 14 was the final score in that one. And as a matter of fact, thanks to Darius Walker, that was actually a game in the first half. It was a 21-14 score at halftime, but then in the second half, that's when things went to hell. But what can you do, right? That was years ago, but um, another chance, another chance for the Irish to not only uh, knock off an SEC team, but a chance to end the, end the season on a, on a high note by beating a, a ranked opponent. Now, Notre Dame and LSU this season, anyway, have a lot in common. And some of you are probably wondering, what the hell are you talking about, Sean? What What do you mean they have a lot in common? They They actually do. As far as uh, along the lines of basically both of our seasons didn't go the way we thought they would and uh, not exactly how we wanted them to. Uh, you know, Notre Dame, we get off to a, a great 6-0 and start. We have all the momentum going our way, and then things just go to hell after that. We end up losing five of our last six. Um, you know, LSU, they got off to a great start, and then they ended up losing a couple of heartbreakers. But both teams also have had their highlights, too. I mean, us, we had 31 to nothing shutout over Michigan for the last time, the last scheduled meeting in that series. We had a, a big uh, fourth-quarter touchdown against Stanford that sealed the deal for us in that one. Very exciting game. LSU, they had a huge, huge win over Ole Miss. Uh, but like I said, we both have had our lowlights, too. Um, they had some tough losses against teams like Auburn, Alabama, Mississippi State, um, I think Arkansas was their fourth loss. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, it was a 17 nothing shutout, unfortunately. And then us, as I said, we lost five of our last six. Need I say more? Um, so it's been uh, it's been an up and down season for both these teams. Uh, a lot of things not going as exactly how we planned. Um, you know, there, but there's also been a lot of. Uh, other common factors as well. They've had inconsistent uh, quarterback play out of uh, Jennings and uh, um, I think Harris is the other guy's name. I could be wrong. So if there's an LSU fan watching, please correct me on that. Um, same with us. Everett Golson. He's had a very uh, Jekyll and Hyde season. He could be 
really, really good, but when he's bad, it <laughs> he's really bad. You know, it's just it's been ugly when he's been bad. Uh, but both both teams have had their shining spots too. Um, for us, running back Terry and Folsom, he's uh, tore it up all year. Them, uh, Forsett or Fournette, however you pronounce his last name, um, the freshman running back. Um, another one for us, uh, of course, uh, Will Fuller. You know, stepping for Devaris Daniels. So. You know, there's uh, talent. There's even even though there's been a lot of low spots for both these teams, there's been some high spots as well. Um, but as as for the game itself, um, it was really good that we got one so late in late in December because we've needed this month badly. Uh, we've had because the one thing that hurt us down the stretch was all the injuries that we were suffering left and right, just guys dropping like flies on defense. I mean, geez, I don't, I don't know how many red shirts we had to pull off guys this year. I know Jay Harris was one, um, but at one point we had like nine or ten freshmen starting on defense. So as I said in a, in a previous video, you know, the strength and, and conditioning program at Notre Dame is kind of starting to concern me a little bit. So having a month to prepare for this game, you know. Gives us a chance to get some guys healthy, maybe get a few of those guys back for the bowl game, which could really help. Um, I haven't really checked um, um, a status update on those guys, but um, I'm sure we'll find out in the next week or so um, if we're getting any uh, of the hurt guys back. Um, but it's just this it's, this month has been good to just give us a chance to you know clear our minds, get things right, focus on what we need to do. But as for the game itself, the way I see it going down. Um, it's going to come down to which uh, which team makes the le the le the least mistakes and which ones which one has the more sharper performance. Of course, as we all know by now, Brian Kelly has announced that he is going to play both Everett Golson and Malik Zaire in this one. Um, what exactly his game plan is, I don't know. Um, I don't know if he's going to go use one for throwing, one for running, like he did with his quarterback system at Cincinnati. I just don't know how that's going to work. Who is he going to start? You know, it's, uh, everything's everything in regards to that is a question mark right now. So it's really going to come down to, um, like I said, who makes the least mistakes and who plays the more crisp and cleaner game. Um, easier said than done, I know. But um, um, I see this one uh, very possibly being low scoring. Um, you know, I, I do know LSU has a great defense. Um, ours. They've, as young as they are, they've shown signs of being good. But, you know, with all that, that youth in there, that inexperienced youth, we've seen mistakes. And we've seen how it can cost us. So, to be honest with you guys, I really don't know how this game is going to go down. All I know is if we want to have a chance to knock off an SEC team, get a little bit of our respect back, um, you know, finish the year on a positive note, then we've got to play clean football. We've got to protect the football and just keep our heads in the game. So I know it's easier said than done, right? I sound like a broken record because that's what I've been saying all season long. Well, until we start doing it, that's what my all my previews are going to sound like. Um, so, I mean, tell me one thing that I'm saying that's not true here. Um, so it's we got to have our young guys step up, make an impact. And one thing I do have to say, speaking of the young guys, and I've been reading a lot of this, all across the internet, on you know social media, message boards, you name it. But it's not my intention to badmouth people in my own fan base or anything like that. But to all the Irish fans out there who are saying that Notre Dame was stupid for accepting a bowl bid, we shouldn't have gone to one, we didn't deserve to go to one, I'm sorry, but you people who are saying that are out of your freaking mind. Saying that we should just turn down a bowl game? Are, are you nuts? Look, at this, it doesn't matter if we lose this game. And I know, I know how stupid that sounds. But this is not necessarily about winning or losing this game. With all these young guys that we have, these, first time, these guys that are playing college football for the first time, first time, first time, first time starters, however you want to describe it, these inexperienced guys need that game experience. And they are not going to get that sitting on the couch. So how do you how do you expect these guys to get better? I mean, like I said, they're not going to get it from doing nothing. 
So again, to any of you Irish fans out there who said that it that Notre Dame should not have accepted the bid to play in a bowl game, you're out of your minds. Okay, because this is big for the long run in our program. Okay, with uh, spring practice being right around the corner, because it comes up quick every year, this game, regardless of how it turns out, is going to transition into that. And the more experience that these young guys get, the better. Okay. Because how else do you expect them to learn from their mistakes and grow? So I'm not trying to beat you guys up, but you guys who are saying that saying those things that we should like we shouldn't have taken a bowl game, it was stupid of us to take a bowl game, blah 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 blah. You guys have to think this stuff through, especially in the long run. We maybe we didn't deserve it. Maybe we maybe we should have taken it. But you know what? If you're offered it, you take it. And if you qualify, you take it. That's that's all there is to it. So my final score prediction for this one, guys, I can't really give one. Um, I th I think it's going to come down to it's. I think it's going to end up being a shootout. Could very well be a low scoring affair. Um, so, but do I think the Irish are capable of pulling this out with all the time and rest they've had to get in, in this past month? Yes, I do. But um, one thing I can say for sure is that if we do win this game, it's not going to be in a blowout fashion. That's for sure. So, yeah, with that said, guys, that's really all, all I have for you in this, in this preview. I don't really know how much of a, pre of a preview it was. But um, with that said, I wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. And I, if you're doing any traveling in some, uh, you know, some bad weather, be safe. So, again, from Sean 45 to all of you, Merry Christmas and God bless. I'm out. What was I thinking? I ended the video too early. Of course, as always, go Irish, beat Tigers.